This movie has great acting, great storytelling, great production, but for some reason it just doesn't work. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. This time it is for the new Netflix original movie, Stowaway. So guys, I like space. Space is probably one of my favorite genre films, you know, just space. Not sci-fi per se, just when humans go into space, particularly when it's just like a whole bunch of astronauts and then something goes wrong and then they have to figure that out. I know it's been told to death, it's been done to death, but for some reason every time I see a movie that has, has those elements, I'm intrigued. And Stowaway has pretty much everything that I'm looking for. It has space, has astronauts, and it has a really bad thing to happen. But man, I don't know, I can't help but feel that this movie just didn't didn't go there, just didn't reach its potential. A three-person crew on a mission to Mars faces an impossible choice when an unplanned passenger jeopardizes the lives of everyone on board. So let's talk about the good stuff first. Again, it's space, so that's automatically an A-plus for me. <laughs> but I just really like the production of this movie. They do a good job. Like, when they do a good space movie, they do a good space movie. Also, the cast is pretty damn amazing in this film. We have Anna Kendrick. We already know she's pretty good. You got Daniel Day Kim and you got Tony Collette. But I think the standout performance in this film for me is Shamir Anderson. He is a stowaway in this film and you know, a lot of stuff happens to him in this film. He just goes through a lot in this film and he has to just to portray a lot of ranges of emotions. He has to portray guilt, you know, sadness, fear, whole bunch of stuff in a short amount of time. This movie isn't that long and he does it really well just from his facial expression and to his acting. And I wouldn't consider this a positive or a con, but there is a lot of dialogue in this film. But for me, I thought I kind of rather enjoyed the dialogue between the characters because everybody is a really good actor, like I said before, and just the dialogue that they have between each character is just like building up each of their characters, each of their backgrounds, each of their relationships with each other. So I guess, as I more and more talk about it, I guess it's a positive. This movie could have been great, could have been really good, could have been a contender for my top five movies of the year. Yeah, I said it. But there's just a lot of inconsistencies in this film. And what I mean by that, there is just like situations where characters could just easily call somebody and they can fix it. Or people would talk about a certain situation, like for instance, they find out that there is a stowaway on their ship. And the first thing that they do is call their superiors, the people down on earth to figure out what to do with the person that is now on their ship. And the response that they get is just, I don't think it would happen. And again, I know it's a movie, it's a fictional movie, but you know, this is more on the real side, you know, the real side of things. It's not really a fiction. There's no aliens in this movie. If that's a spoiler, I guess spoiler. But just the response that they have, it just didn't go with <laughs> the flow of the film. And the whole time I was just like rooting for these characters because I really like their interactions. I really like their characters. Each of the characters have valid reasons for doing what they are doing and saying what they're saying, but just the just some of the decisions that they make, I don't think would matches their character. All in all guys, I'm really torn with this one. On one hand, there's a lot to like about this film. On the other, it's just a couple of things, little tiny things that just ruined the whole movie. I just don't know how I feel about this movie. I think you should check it out. I think you should determine for yourself if this is a movie for you. But hey, let me know what you think of Stowaway in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think these people should be nominated for Academy Award. You know, I'm not really into the whole Academy Award season. It's not my jam, don't really care about that. But when I do see some good performances, you know, I, got, I gotta acknowledge it. But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Also check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And remember guys, keep watching movies.